So I just thought I'd do a real quick video on, on how I adjust the valves. This is a, a 2002 undercover dragster with a 469 big block Chevy in, in this thing. I try to adjust the valves at least once a month. Good way to catch if anything in the top end starts to, to go away. So you, you want to do this before you have any uh, catastrophic fares. It's a good way to catch if uh, something go, starts to go awry. So you want to set the motor up. You want to pull all your spark plugs, all your wires, both sides, because you're going to be bumping this motor around a lot. Uh, makes it easier on the starter, on the flywheel, and everything if you got the, the plugs out as you're, as you're bumping around. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, and zoom in here and explain what we're doing and where, where you're checking. You need some feeler gauges. You can get these from the parts store. Uh, you need an Allen key because the lock locks uh, screw on top and then wrenches. So there's a stud girl on top of this. These are BB2X heads, Brodix. This has got ISKI cam and about 740 lift uh, stainless steel rockers. It's a crane cams stud girdle on top of this thing. All right, so we're, we're zoomed in. I've got cylinder number two. This is the exhaust valve. This is the intake valve. Uh, we're going to check the lash. And the lash is basically the space between the top of the valve and the roller rocker in here. Okay? And the way you do that, we're going to have the power on so I can bump the motor around. But I've got the ignition turned off, I got the fuel pump turned off, and I got my water pump turned off. So just the main power so that my starter works is turned on. I'm going to bump the motor around slowly. As the exhaust valve just starts to open, you check the intake. As the intake valve fully opens and then it's between half and three quarter closed, you check the exhaust valve. Okay, so I got my feeler gauges here. Let's go ahead and bump this around. I haven't checked this for about a month. Let's see where we're at. All right, so my exhaust just started to open. We're going to check. So 22 is going in. Put a 24 in there, see where we're at. So this one's a little loose. So 22 is going in and 24 is going in. So this valve, this would need a little bit of adjusting. This one's just a hair loose. You don't want to check your cam card, that'll tell you what gap you should set. I set mine cold at 22. So the 24 is going in, the 22s, this is a little loose. Let's bump it around so that we can check our exhaust valve now. Again, we want this fully open and then about halfway closed on the intake. Maybe a little, little too far, but all right, 22 is going in, 24 isn't. So this valve is good. As I'm going across, I kind of forget which ones I did, so I'll take a, a black marker and I just marked the top of the girdle. I was doing a friend's motor. He doesn't have a girdle on his, so we were just putting a little bit of a mark on top of the rock arm. And uh, I do the mark every time, and as you can see, the oil and the heat and everything takes the mark right off. So my exhaust valve here is good. And the intake's going to need a little bit of adjust in there. If it's off a little bit, not a big deal. It's when you, you notice something awful lot, that's when you got some kind of problem you need to look into. Okay, to adjust these, I like to put a, a wrench on my adjusting nut here. Uh, of course, counterclockwise will increase the lash, clockwise will decrease the lash. It just screws this further down in, which tightens up your lash. Or if you back it out, it loosens or increases your lash. I'll put a nut on my adjusting nut. And then there's an Allen key down in there. You slide it down in there, that's the locking nut. You have to break the locking nut loose while you're holding your adjusting nut to make sure that it doesn't move on you. Uh, if you don't have the girdle, then all you would do is, if you need to tighten it, you just turn it just a hair. It doesn't take much. And then retighten your locking nut down. With the girdle on there, once you break the nut loose, hold your adjusting nut. You're going to loosen. All you need to do is loosen just the one here. And then tighten it a little bit. And then retighten your girdle down. Tighten your lock nut down. And then you recheck your lash again and you see if you have to adjust it anymore from there. 